Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Microbial World. In this video, we are going to discuss about culture media and the different types of culture media. Culture media refers to any solid or liquid preparation used to support the growth, isolation and identification of microorganisms. It provides essential nutrients, vitamins and minerals necessary for microbial growth. So what is culture media? It is a growth media. It can be a gel support media or a liquid support media. And it contains essential nutrients, vitamins and minerals that is required for the growth of microorganisms. Now the culture media is a very important part of the routine laboratory research because it allows the artificial culture of microorganisms and it also helps in the isolation and differentiation of different microorganisms. We can identify the microorganisms through the growth pattern and colony morphology of certain bacteria on certain growth media. Culture media can be classified based on several factors such as composition, physical state and function. Based on physical properties, culture media is classified as solid media, liquid or broth media and semi-solid media. Solid media contains a solidifying agent usually agar to make the medium solid. So in the solid media, a solidifying agent like agar or gelatin is added so that the medium has a solid consistency. And this solid matrix provides a stable surface for the growth of microorganisms. It also allows to isolate and enumerate individual colonies formed by microbial growth. Examples of solid media include nutrient agar, blood agar, mekonki agar. This nutrient agar is a general purpose medium that is used to cultivate bacteria, yeast and mold. It contains peptone, beef extract, agar and other nutrients. Blood agar is also nutrient agar enriched with sheep or host blood. It is also used to isolate and differentiate bacteria, especially fastidious organisms which require additional nutrients that is provided by blood. Mekonki agar contains bile salt, crystal violet, lactose and neutral red. This media selects for gram-negative bacteria and it also helps in the differentiation of lactose fermenters and non-lactose fermenters based on colony color and morphology. Liquid or broth media does not contain a solidifying agent and remains in liquid form. So in this media, a solidifying agent like agar is not added and it exists in a liquid state. This media also has advantages such as ease of inoculation, which means it allows to easily distribute and mix microorganisms, nutrients and other components. It also helps in the large scale production of microorganisms. Examples of liquid media include nutrient broth, cryptic soy broth, brain heart infusion broth. Nutrient broth is also a general purpose medium used to cultivate wide variety of bacteria, yeast and mold in a liquid environment. It contains peptone, beef extract and other nutrients dissolved in water. Cryptic soy broth contains enzymatic digestive casein and soybean meal providing a rich source of amino acids and other nutrients. It is used to cultivate wide variety of bacteria, especially in clinical and industrial microbiology settings. Brain heart infusion broth contains an infusion of beef heart and brain, providing vitamins, minerals and growth factors. It is used to cultivate fastidious organisms. It is also used in the preparation of inocula for serological test and susceptibility testing. Semi-solid media contains a reduced amount of solidifying agent giving it a semi-solid consistency. So the semi-solid media is a type of culture media that has consistency between that of solid and liquid media. And it contains lower concentration of solidifying agents such as agar when compared to that of solid media. So this unique texture of the medium will allow to observe microbial behaviors such as motility and diffusion which cannot be easily observed in solid or liquid media. Examples of semi-solid media include motility agar, SIM medium, sulfide indole motility medium. So the motility agar is used to determine bacterial motility based on the diffusion of bacteria through the medium from the point of inoculation. And it is indicated by growth pattern and color change in the medium. 
Sulfide indole motility medium is a differential agar medium that is used to test for the presence of three main bacterial activities that is sulfur reduction, indole production and motility. Based on composition, culture media is classified as chemically defined media and complex media. Chemically defined media contains precise amount of specific chemicals and the exact composition is known. So, this media contains pure specific chemical compounds with known concentration and also due to the defined composition, the media provides consistent and reproducible results. This media also allows to modify and customize nutrient composition based on specific experimental requirements. Example include M9 minimal medium. It contains specific salt, glucose and a carbon source. So, this is a commonly used medium in molecular biology and genetics for the cultivation of Escherichia coli and also other bacteria requiring minimal nutrients. Complex media contains extracts and digest of yeast, meat or plants. The exact composition is not precisely defined. So, this media has a complex composition. It contains a mixture of organic and inorganic compounds derived from natural sources such as extract and digestive plant or animal tissues. And also this media is very nutrient rich. It contains nutrients, vitamins and growth factors required for the growth of wide variety of microorganisms. It can also support the growth of fastidious organisms that has complex nutritional requirements. Example include nutrient agar, tryptic soy broth and brain heart infusion broth. Based on function, culture media is classified as selective media, differential media and enriched media. Selective media contains substances that inhibit the growth of certain types of bacteria while allowing others to grow. So, this media contains specific substances such as antibiotics, dyes or other inhibitory agents that selectively inhibits the growth of certain types of bacteria. So, we can say that this media will allow the growth and proliferation of specific target organisms by suppressing the growth of non-target or unwanted microorganisms. Example include McConkey agar, Manitoul salt agar. So, we already said that McConkey agar contains bile salt, crystal violet, lactose and neutral red. So, bile salt and crystal violet will inhibit the growth of gram-positive bacteria and select for gram-negative bacteria. Whereas, lactose and neutral red are included to differentiate lactose fermenters from non-lactose fermenters. Manitoul salt agar contains high concentration of salt that will inhibit the growth of most of the bacteria except Staphylococci. So, it will select for Staphylococcus aureus. And this media also contains mannitol and phenol red to differentiate mannitol fermenters from non-fermenters. Differential media allows for the differentiation of bacteria based on their biochemical characteristics. So, this media contains specific substances such as indicators, substrates or selective agents that will produce visible changes or reactions in the medium based on the metabolic or biochemical properties of the microorganism. Example include blood agar. It differentiates bacteria based on their hemolytic activity. So, a partial hemolysis will produce greenish discoloration around the colonies. It is called alpha hemolysis. Complete hemolysis will produce clear zone around the colonies and this is called beta hemolysis. And if there is no hemolysis and the medium remains unchanged, it is called gamma hemolysis. Another example is eosin methylene blue agar. It differentiates between lactose fermenters and non-fermenters. Lactose fermenters will produce colonies with a green metallic sheen and non-fermenters will produce colorless or pink colonies. Enriched media contains extra nutrients to support the growth of fastidious organisms. So, this media contains additional nutrients, growth factors and supplements such as blood, serum, vitamins or specific amino acids that is required to enhance the growth of specific microorganisms. Example include blood agar. It is enriched with blood and this media is used to support the growth of fastidious organisms such as Haemophilus species. Chocolate agar is a heated blood agar. 
Chocolate agar can be used to grow fastidious bacteria such as Neisseria species. Based on oxygen requirement, culture media is classified as aerobic media and anaerobic media. Aerobic media provides sufficient oxygen to support the growth of aerobic bacteria. So, this media is designed in such a way that oxygen availability is maintained throughout the culture to support the growth of aerobic bacteria which relies on oxygen as the terminal electron acceptor in their respiratory chain. So, this media might require continuous or intermittent aeration to maintain the oxygen levels and facilitate the growth of aerobic bacteria. Nutrient agar, blood agar and triptych soy agar are examples of aerobic media. Anaerobic media lacks oxygen or contains agents that remove oxygen to create an anaerobic environment. Example include thioglycolate broth. This media contains thioglycolate which acts as a reducing agent to remove dissolved oxygen creating an anaerobic environment to facilitate the growth of anaerobic bacteria. Gas pack system is a commercial anaerobic gas generation and indication system used in microbiology laboratories. This system consists of gas generating sachets or tablets containing sodium borohydride and citric acid which react to produce hydrogen and carbon dioxide when activated in the presence of water and catalyst. The generated gases will replace oxygen in the sealed anaerobic jar thereby creating an anaerobic or microaerophilic environment. Specialized media include transport media and selective and differential media. Transport media is designed to maintain the viability of organisms during transport. So, this media provides a protective environment to maintain the viability and stability of microorganisms during storage and transport. This media contains buffering agents to maintain the pH of the medium and prevent acidification and alkalinization of the specimen. This media also contains specific salts and sugars to maintain osmotic balance and prevent the dehydration or lysis of specimen. Examples include Stewart's transport medium, Amy's transport medium. These media are suitable to transport aerobic, anaerobic or fastidious bacteria including Haemophilus or Neisseria species. Selective and differential media. As the name says, this media combines both selective and differential properties. Example includes McConkey agar. It is selective for gram-negative bacteria and differentiates between lactose fermenters and non-lactose fermenters. Enrichment media contains special nutrients or growth factors to enhance the growth of certain bacteria. So, this media provides a rich and supportive environment for the growth and proliferation of specific group of microorganisms with complex or fastidious nutritional requirements. These media has specialized composition derived from natural sources such as blood, serum, tissue extracts or specific organic or inorganic supplements to mimic the natural growth conditions of certain bacteria. Example includes selenite broth. These media are enriched with sodium selenite and other nutrients. It selectively enriches the growth of salmonella species from fecal specimens. Tellurite glycine agar. These media contains tellurite which inhibits the growth of most of the normal flora and allows the selective growth of Cornibacterium diphtheriae. It also allows the differentiation of Cornibacterium diphtheriae based on its ability to reduce tellurite to elemental tellurium resulting in the formation of grey or black colonies on the surface of agar. Indicator media contains substances that change color when certain biochemical reactions occur. So, this media contains indicators, dyes and pH sensitive compounds which changes color in response to the growth, metabolic activity or specific enzymatic reactions of microorganisms. It also allows rapid and easy visual detection based on the color change or visible changes in the medium. Examples include phenol red broth. This media differentiates bacteria based on its ability to ferment carbohydrates such as glucose, lactose or sucrose and produce acid or gas as metabolic byproducts. It contains a pH sensitive diphenol red 
which changes color from red color in alkaline condition to yellow color in acidic condition. Another example is litmus milk. This media differentiates bacteria based on its ability to ferment lactose, produce acid or alkali, coagulate milk proteins and reduce litmus. Litmus is the pH sensitive dye which changes color from blue color in alkaline condition to pink color in acidic condition or white color in reduced state. So this is all about the different types of culture media. Thank you.